All right, so for heat number two, your pole sitter is going to be the uh, Perry number 74. Outside the front row is going to be Rocco Constantino with the 71R. And then we're going to have the 405. That is one of the Whitbecks, Travis Whitbeck, out of Brunswick. And on the outside with the 1B, that is going to be Brett Mortensen. Row three on the inside with the uh, three UR, that's going to be Mike Russ. And on the outside will be the number 7H. That'll be the uh, Hovis number 7H. And then we have the 77. That is another one of the Weisses. That is Dave Weiss. Mike Coffey is in the number one outside that row. And he'll be outside row four. And finally, we have the number 27 of Tomek Kowalczyk. And a big thanks to our friends from Empire Hay for providing the hay bales around the outside of the flowers there and a little second level, if you will, of track protection. If you need bales, small or large, or you're looking for custom mowing or custom planting, then you will need to hook up with the folks from Empire Hay. We also want to say a special thanks to the folks from DKM Fabrication as well as JK Sign Works. And, of course, we are all here to help VCHC, the Veterans and Community Housing Coalition. By the way, if you're watching our live stream and you'd like to know how you could donate to VCHC, visit their website. It's vchcny.org. vchcny.org. That's VH, or vchcny.org. You can find out all the information about the organization and how you can make your own personal donation to add to the money that we've raised here today. All right, so getting the drivers squared away and uh, lined up where they belong or close to it because we all know how racers are with lineups, right? I see, I see some of you have got that smart grin on your face like, yep, been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. Okay. Now, I think we've got everybody slotted in where they belong, so we should get the white flag this time. Now, Joe Chris is kind of playing umpire over there. He's got one of his junior flaggers that is made in the silks for him here this afternoon, assisted by Roman Hendrickson on the backstretch. Field comes around, green flag waves. He race number two is off and running. Who will prevail from the inside or the outside? From the outside, it's going to be Constantino. Rocco jumps into the lead, but the yellow flag is waving. There was trouble for the 405 of Travis Whitbeck, and he's backed up from the inside hub, and he'll go ahead and roll back out. Now, unlike some form of carts that have flathead or clone motors that need what they uh, need the uh, bump box to start them, these things, well, they're just kind of like your old school lawn mowers. It's a recoil start, so it just takes somebody to reach over and pull the recoil and get them refired, and they usually fire up pretty quickly. So the field is bunched back up here, ready for a restart. So they make their way back down off corner number four into the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. And coming off turn number two this time, it's going to be Perry with the advantage. A little jam fest up in the middle of the pack. Cart's going every which way. And the yellow flag will wave with one lap complete. And we had our version of one of the big ones from last night's uh, Coke Zero Sugar 400 at Daytona. If you haven't seen the highlights yet, I won't spoil it for you, but yeah, they wrecked some cars last night, just saying. Hopefully we don't wreck too many cars tonight, although we are doing a number on the flowers. So we'll get the lineup squared away. Leanne Oxett, by the way, handling the uh, scoring duties with some help and assistance here this evening. Oh, 
Okay, now I think we have everything squared away where it should be. We'll get a one to go signal. And we'll look for the green flag when they come back to the restart zone between the two cones here in turn number four. Leader fires first anywhere in the box. And we are back underway in the 74. A Perry pulls out about a cart length advantage over Constantino in second. The 1B of Brett Mortensen sitting in third. And then the 27 of Tomek Kowalczyk has come from the back of the field up to fourth, but now having a battle with the number 77 slipping down to his inside. That is going to be the other Weiss the number 77, that is Dave Weiss. The Weiss moves up into the number five spot of the top four, all tied together A one car pulling out wide and going a lap down as they shuffle the deck down here, going down here through turn three and four. We've got a spinner, it's Mike Coffey with the number one. Mike will get it back out on the racing surface, but he's got to pick up the pace because the leaders are coming up on him in a hurry. Rocco Constantino leads with three to go with the number 77. The Perry 74 is second. Mortensen is third. And Dave Weiss now has the final transfer spot in that fourth position as they get ready to come around for the white flag this time. Mike Coffey gets dumped by your leader, and the yellow flag will wave. Consider the chrome horn applied, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Somebody's being bad. I think we're sending somebody to the back of the bus. I know it was a lap car, but even so... Sorry, folks, that comes from above my pay grade. That's all right. There's still a consolation race, and there's still two laps to go in this one. By the way, moving up to third now is going to be the uh, Ovis number uh, 7J as we get ready for the restart here. Yep, and they were trying to get the Perry number 74 back up where it belonged. He thought he had to go to the rear as well. Like I said, racers and lineups, that's all you need to know. All right, green flag back in the air. It's a green-white checker finish. Now Perry leads it down the back stretch with Mortensen trailing. The battle's going to be on for that final transfer spot. Tomek Kowalczyk trying to get in there. Here comes Mike Coffey back with the number one. They're going to get battling amongst each other, and that is going to allow the seven of Ovis to escape as they go across the line. Perry wins. Mortensen finishes second. Rice will grab third, and Ovis in the black and red number seven will go on to collect the final qualifying position here out of heat race number two.